All right, let's take a look at what Replit gives you when you start a C++ project. So over here in my left panel are my files that are associated with this project. Um, for right now, it's just this one file, main.cpp. Um, this file extension is how we know this is a C++ code file. Um, in this center panel is our code, and in this right panel is our console, which is where the output of our program will display. When you first start this up, um, you've got some code already in here. Um, so this first thing, anything that starts with a pound symbol or a hashtag symbol and the word include, um, we call that a preprocessor directive. And when it's pound include, that means we're asking for a library file to be pulled into our program so we can use the commands from the library file. Um, this one that we will use basically in every single program, IO stream. Um, the I is for input, the O is for output, um, and stream means it's coming in or going out of our program. Um, this is going to allow us to capture input from the keyboard and send output out to this console window. Um, and so we're going to need that to have any interactivity in our programs at all. Okay. Um, as the year goes on, we'll add more and more includes up here so we can have access to different libraries that we can use. Okay. Um, now you'll notice that it automatically has this blank line. We don't want our programs to be smushed. Um, so you can put as many blank lines as you like to kind of break stuff up. Um, we don't want a, a program that is just one continuous giant block because that is considered bad style. Okay, let's take a look at what else we have in here already. Um, so we have this thing int main. Um, every single C++ program that you write, um, when you when you ask it to run, it'll compile the program, and when it goes to execute, it looks for this as the starting point, and so it will execute what's inside these two curlies um, from the top down. Sometimes you'll have other stuff above main. We'll get to writing functions. And once it's in main, it'll jump up there and run those things and then jump back. But this is where it's going to, to start running the program. Um, this top line is called the main function header. Okay, This is our main function. Um, this word int is specifying that when this function is finished, it will return a value to your operating system to tell it whether there was an error or not. You will see um, Replit emits this um, and just puts it in itself once you compile, but to be fully, fully correct, this program would end with return zero, um, so that if it were to reach this end line, this means zero, this program finished, because the next thing is this closing curly, and there were no errors. Replit doesn't care if you omit that, it'll add it itself when you compile, so um, you can leave that off or you can write it. Okay. And then you see it gives you this line in here, um, STD, that's short for standard. There's these two colons. These guys are called scope resolution operators. And what they're doing is it's telling this command, C out, which library it's coming from. It's coming from the standard library. Okay. C out is short for console out. That means right out to this thing over here. You'll see this is called the console. That's the C. Okay. These little guys are called insertion operators. Notice they're pointing at the C out. So whatever comes after these is being directed, its flow, its stream is being directed to this, which is this console over here. And then here I have some text, um, hello world. It's in quotation marks. That makes it a string literal. That means it will literally print what you put in these quotation marks. You'll notice there's this backslash N here. This is what's called an escape sequence. Anytime you see a backslash, that means it's, you're looking at an escape sequence. And N means new line. So this means it'll print hello world and it'll give you a new line. So your cursor will drop down. So if I run this, you can see in the console, it printed hello world. Now, if I were to put something else over here, how are you? I just wanna show you that it will go to the next line because of that backslash N, okay? Now, one thing you might want um, so that you don't have to keep doing this uh, scope resolution operator thing. Um, because you'll notice that I have to keep doing this every time I want to write a new C out. Um, one thing you can do is if you would like to be able to omit this so that your code is a little bit cleaner looking, you can go above main and you can add a line here that says using namespace std. That means we're going to assume that if there's a command in here, it's coming out of this um, this this namespace right here. Okay. 
Um, one other thing I want to point out, notice these, these C outlines, they end with a semicolon. This is how I say to C++ that I have finished a statement. A statement is basically one code action that's happening. So this print is one code action, this line is a statement, and this semicolon means I am finished doing it. So that's just a little bit about um, what Replit gives you right off the bat.